Hello everyone, today we are going to say how you can pull data from Zoho CRM into Zoho Creator. So if you want to take other field values like email, phone, mobile, address fields, then you'll have to write some script. And we are going to say how you can do it. First things first, let's just add a Zoho CRM field. Choose contacts, click done. So I will name it as contact. So note this ID. This is the field deluge name in Zoho Creator for this field. But this contact ID is the record ID of Zoho CRM. So if I pull this name, so this particular name, Ruben Cannon, this is contact. The contact ID for this Ruben Cannon is this from Zoho CRM. Whenever you access a particular contact, you will see that ID in the URL. We see this first and last name on display right here, but we want to get other field values like email, phone, mobile, or any other field values, right? Before you pull that exact field value, let's just say what is the actual response we get from Zoho CRM. For that, what you do, you click on contact, click on configure field actions. Now we'll use Zoho CRM dot get records by ID. The module is contacts, and uh, we need to pass the begin that is contact ID so we can pull all the data from the Zoho CRM. Remember, this is the Zoho CRM contacts ID. So we pick that. We, it, this is the fields or Zoho create a fields value too. So we will just put an alert for this task. All right, let's just. Uh, say the actual response from Zoho CRM. We'll just copy it, put it in a text editor, and let's just talk about this first. Whenever you see a response between these curly bridges, they are most likely a map variable, all right? So a map variable is like any other variable which holds key value pairs. So it says lead source advertisement, mailing zip, you know so everything all right so let's just say we need value for email it, it gives us only the uh, first and last name you know in the uh, drop down but we want other field values as well for example mailing country mailing address I mean this mailing street mailing city everything including email if you want that what we need to do is we need to first understand a map variable Map variables start like this between the curly open and close curly braces, and you give a key and you enter a value. And if you want to add more key and value, you go here, you put a comma, and then you add the next key, key one, and then you add the value, something like that. All right, so this is what the map a variable looks like, and that's what it is. The advantage of having a map variable is you can easily get the value by mentioning just this key. If I want the email address, I can just mention this email if I know the key. So that's the basics for any map variable. So let's just see how you can add or how you can pull data from a map variable. All right, let's get into the script. Okay, now we got this. Since we know this is a map type response we got, I'll just declare a contact map and put this response into that contact map. Get is the uh, method we use to uh, get a value from a map based on a key. For example, from this map, if I want this, for example, if I want this New York, what I will do is I'll give this key, all right, after get. So what I will do is, from this contact map get value of this key all right and i will store this in a variable i know so mailing city and i can alert that so mailing city okay let's just go ahead and see how that looks like see we just got new york instead of the whole response we got just the new york it mostly matches the field name in zoho crm even you don't have to see the response every time you can just use this field name whatever it is that's what they use 
in the map response so you can just go ahead and use that let's just take the mailing address and email address and put them in zoho creator form fields I go here so i just match these fields like mailing street city state zip and country and i create a new fields for it. and i create a new fields in zoho creator all right so now based on this context response i'll take the email and put it here and other fields respectively so what do I do? I go to this on user input. I have contact map already. So what I will do? I go input dot email equals contact. For some reason, this contact map is not uh, auto filling. So what I will do? I'll just uh, declare it as a map. So I'll go ahead and press dot after contact map, and you will see all these built-in functions for a map variable. And we are going to use get. You know, this is what you get when you uh, when you want to know the value for two. You put map dot get of two, and you get flow. So that's what we are going to do now. So contact map dot get for email. We need the email. All right. I just uh, wrote script to get mailing information and uh, put them on the respective fields. Let's say that in action. So if I go ahead and pull this contact, it just populates everything right from Zoho CM. If you have any questions, send us an email to zoho at arbrc.com.